Hi everybody, we're going to take a look at a one-of-a-kind game that was on the Radio Shack color computer called Wildcatting. I actually did not have this game as a kid, so this was kind of the first time I'm checking it out. I remember seeing it in the catalogs um, and always being kind of interested in it. Uh, there's actually one graphic, <laughs> and of course that's what they, sh that's what they showed. And it looked pretty cool, uh, drilling down into the middle of the earth, which you'll get a chance to see. And um, <clears throat> But I never had it and wanted to check it out, so I found uh, the game and the old manual. I uh, looked on Moby Games, not much information on it. It was just released on the color computer. And I gave it one playthrough to try to figure it out ahead of time, and I, I did pretty poorly. So we'll see how I do for this playthrough. But let's go ahead and take a look at the manual. So Wildcatting was made in 1980. So 35 years ago as of this recording. Kind of unbelievable. So Wildcatting is an exciting, financially risky search for oil hidden below the Earth's surface. You, if you make wise investments, you may become a rich oil tycoon. If you don't, you may find yourself working on the rigs to pay your drilling debts. So basically, playing the controls, and playing the game, selecting the number of players. Uh, so, Basically, you move your cursor around the screen, and you select an area where you want to drill, and you get a survey report on that area, and there's an overall map, and you kind of try to find the, where the narrow down where the oil is. So if you're 25% chance of finding oil, you're going to say you don't want to drill there, and you want to pick a different place, and there's only one hot spot on the map. And the closer you get to it, the higher the percentage goes up. So it's you're able to find it that way. Uh, there's also um, drilling costs and taxes for drilling. I guess if there's uh, different, uh, you know, thick, uh, thicker bedrock to, to drill through, or I don't know what the taxes would come from, the government or something. Um, and then you try to drill your well, and if um, you hit some oil, you're going to make some money. Um, with a whoosh and a roar, a gusher will erupt. There was one time where it made an interesting sound. I guess that was a gusher. And uh, I guess all the other times I struck oil. And then dry hole, uh, which I actually got a couple times even, like at the 80% uh, chance of success, which was a bummer. And it sort of explains the color coding on how to tell where you are. Uh, and then you want to check your income. If you have a mine that's not making um, any money, then you want to sell it. Uh, otherwise, it's going to cost you money. Especially if you get a dry hole, it's going to cost you tons of money. And your scoring is basically the amount of money that you make. So strategies for winning. While cutting his game of deduction, the color bar show to the lower shown in the lower left corner of the map indicate the proximity of the oil uh, center. Uh, the closest uh, probability is pink, and the farthest is white. Um, and every game uses a new map, so there's always a fresh challenge. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take a look at wild cutting. So how many players we're going to do? One. Oh, and it makes makes that weird sound. I don't know if that's from my uh, emulator that was or part of the game originally. Uh, right, name. And he does it for each letter you press. Cool. Joystick, so we're going to say no. Oops. There we go. 
go. So kind of interesting thing with uh, if anyone wants to try out some Coco games uh, on an emulator, the interesting thing with the original Coco was it had this really awesome analog joystick and it didn't center itself. So like all of our analog joysticks these days, a center recenter themselves. Uh, so that was that's kind of a problem with the Coco because the joystick was designed to not center. So when moving around on this uh, a screen like this, it uh, goes to 100%. So it kind of treats it almost like a D-pad uh, instead of an analog. So even if you try to hold your analog somewhere in the middle, uh, it's just boom. It's all, all the way. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. So for this game, uh, you have to do a keyboard. Works a lot better. So we're going to use a keyboard here. So let's see, where should we start? I'll start over here. So profitability of oil, or um, profitability, probability of oil, 58%. Drill well, um, I'm going to say no. Although it's super cheap, $10 per meter. Tax is 820. So let's see if we can get closer to um, closer to the oil center. Let's try over here. Also 58 percent. Let's go up here. 44 percent. Oh, you know what? I'll leave that chart up next time. Everybody take a look at it. All right, 87%. Drill well. Yes, let's do it. So taxes are a little high, and it's uh, $10 a meter to drill. But let's go for it. So here's our drill. And we're going to drill down through the earth. Awesome. So we definitely hit some oil there. And it's going to tell us. So our drilling cost was 600. Our taxes were 965. And our income is uh, 1,240. So it loses us negative 600. But hopefully after another week, our mine will be making us a profit. But you have to keep an eye on it because they will decrease in profit over time because I guess you run out of oil. So let's uh, move along here. So that's a pretty good spot. So let's uh, let's go down here. Another 87 percent. 14 per meter, 885 per week. Sure. Let's drill that well. I didn't think it was going to hit there for a minute. Okay. So we're still, um, our income still above our taxes on our uh, other well. And then this one uh, costs us a ton of money to drill. We had to drill down pretty deep there. Um, but uh, we're bringing in 1740 per week. Uh, that should eventually turn us a profit. Let's see, where's the good, where's the goodies? Let's try here. 76%. I think we won't turn a profit there, so I'm actually not going to drill there. For my last one, I thought 76% was good, but I was not really making any money. Six percent again. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. This well is now costing us uh, uh, money because it's not making as uh, much as our taxes. So we have to sell that. 
right? So we're going to sell it back, and we actually lost money on that well. So I got to keep a closer eye on it. Uh, so we're still still pulling the money on the uh, that well that's uh, fourteen ten per week there. All right. That spot's probably right in here. Seven percent, sure. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't check the taxes. Okay. Oh, I got the wrong one. All right, seventeen forty. Taxes are pretty high. We had a pretty good drilling uh, uh, rate there. And uh, we're now making some money on that other one. So we'll keep an eye on that. And come on, where's the where's the real big one? Hey, there we go. Ninety-four percent drill well. Yeah, baby. Okay, only cost us 240 to drill, uh, but huge taxes. Um, our other mines still making us money, and uh, I guess I should say mine oil rig. Kind of feel bad uh, drilling for oil. It's kind of anti-environmental. Should be manufacturing some solar panels instead. <laughs> All right, let's hit up this zone here. Get seven percent. Let's drill that well. So this game could be fun if it's multiple player. I have, I never played it uh, before, and uh, so I have definitely haven't played it against other people. But I could see. You could have sort of a monopoly uh, type kind of uh, thing. Oh, lose money on this mine now. Let's pay attention. We're gonna sell that. Okay, so we made thirteen hundred bucks on that mine. Pretty good. Everybody else still looking good. Yeah. Uh, you know, so you can uh, play against friends and see who's making the most money. That's kind of fun. I would, I would enjoy that. I don't know if any of my friends when I was a kid would have played that with me. I would have thought it was pretty cool. Eighty-seven percent, sure. Wait uh, for a uh, dry well. I got a couple of those last time, even on the 87% uh, zones. All right. Everybody's still bringing in more than taxes. Um, this one's about to break even. So I guess I haven't noticed if you have to should sell now before it's below. I'm going to say yes. So let's sell that. And, uh, boy, this well is actually doing really well. No pun intended. And this one, should I sell this one? Oh, man. Looks like I'm not going to really make any money on that one. Well, so this will be our experiment. We'll see if next next time. So I'm at 451 negative. So let's see if I lose more or less if I go one more round. And there's 100 bucks difference. Let's see how much it goes down. Six percent. Let's see now. Oh, all right, still uh, burning some money there. Hmm, it's 
still 100, 100 bucks. And I guess we'll let it go again. Looking for more purples. 87, sure. Real low. The worst with it being a dry well is you have to spend money to dig all the way to the bottom before you find out that it's dry. So you really lose a lot of money. All right. Should I sell this well? We'll sell that well. This is kind of the end of the round. I wonder if you sell your wells at the end of the round. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Because when I when I end this, it starts a new dig zone. But uh, your your old wells don't carry over. So I guess you would actually sell your wells. So let's see. So my profit's uh, forty four seventy five. Do I have anybody that's? Oh, this guy's still bringing in lots of money. See, so now it's going to draw the map for us. We'll see where all the other uh, purple spots were that I was missing. Uh, it was over there. <laughs> 6,140. I guess it sells them for you at the end. That's good. All right, and then so you can keep the same players and you can play again. So we'll give it another quick playthrough. Let's see, let's start here. Eighty-seven percent, good place to start. I'm already making money on the first mine there. Uh, let's see, I gotta watch out for the second one. So I'm bringing in 1240 and uh, taxes are 885. I'm still making money. Right. Where should we go? See if we can find the uh, good guy. Seventy-six percent. Should I go for drill the well? Tax is nine fifty. No. No. All right. Let's go here. Hmm, another 1240. Oh well. Should still make some money, I hope. I don't know, where's those good mines? Seven. Oh, oh okay. dry well that time. Ooh, that one's bringing some good money. Oh, this guy's cost me money. I'm going to sell it. Alright, that one wasn't very profitable. So I make last time, I made 6,000 something. Let's see if we can beat that. We're in a pretty good zone. I wish I could find the uh, really hot spots here. 87. Okay. 
Okay, these are bringing in some good, good money. Twenty-two forty. High taxes though. Seven six. Yep. Just not gonna do it. Oh, I didn't pay attention to uh, my wells that time. Hope I'm not losing money on any of this. Just right here. 87. All right. Whoa, that one dropped down fast. Under, oh. Okay, this first one's cost me money now. Sell that. Second one is still bringing in some money. And bringing in money, bringing in money. Bringing in money. All right. Let's see if we can find purple. Hmm. 76. Yep. I forgot to look, I forgot to look. So six now. And we're still making money. Where do you think the purple is? So six, no. Money. Cost me money. Alright. This guy's about to cost me money. That one's making a ton of money. Alright, so I kind of made a. went all around there. Can't find the uh, the purple. Uh oh. Whew. That was an expensive drill. Ooh, a good mine though. Still making me money. It's like making me the fifteen bucks. You know, I'm just gonna sell that one. Right. This one's making me 150 a week. I'll keep that. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I got one more round. Last shot for purple. Nope. <laughs> All right. Drill it down. Should have sold that last time. That cost me a lot of money. Alright, so you do want to sell before before it goes down. Because it costs you money right away. That's good to know. Still making money. Making money, making money. Alright, so let's take a look and see where that purple uh, hotspot was. I must have drilled right around that thing. Oh man, there was only one purple. That's the first time I saw that. Whew, I would never have found that thing. That would have been a big money one though, I bet. <laughs> All right, final score, 14,000. Crush my other, my other score. Mine that I have there in the middle of the screen. That one really made me a lot of money. And there's my two game total 20,919. So 
it's kind of a fun uh, Monopoly type game. I, I could see it being entertaining for uh, playing with a couple friends, you know, who gets the, finds the purple hot spot kind of thing. Um, that's interesting. You would, you would think it's kind of boring, but I, I kind of found it entertaining. I also like, uh, you know, doing budgeting and finance and Excel spreadsheets and stocks and stuff, so that could be why I find it interesting. But that is wildcatting for the color computer. I hope you enjoyed the video.